weren't scared to try anything. And if it wasn't flowing, we moved on, we moved to another song. Um, and again, that might sound like something normal bands do all the time, everyone contributes, everyone does everything. But with us, it's not something that we were used to. And uh, there was a lot of butting heads, and a lot of you know people getting mad if somebody didn't like anything, but we pushed on, we passed through it. Um, and what else comes along with that, every person in this band all has different interests, and obviously we all listen to different music. Um, and it was cool because the ideas that we had was coming from each individual's like perspective on music. Like there's stuff I tried lyrically and and vocally that the like, other guys probably would have never even imagined. It's just because of the stuff I listen to, the stuff I'm into right now. So you're gonna hear me doing weird stuff that you may even not even thought that I could ever do, or may even thinks it doesn't sound anything like me. And I mean I'm not singing like Justin Bieber or anything, but I mean there's some creepy whisper talking, whatever you want to call it, in there. So. All the fans that we've had over the years and all the awesome people that have supported us, I hope that they listen to this and they see the band that we've become. Um, with Lost Boys, everyone was like, oh, we want another Unbreakable, and I think, I guess, everyone does that with each band's new record. They want more of the old stuff, and bands mature, bands change, if members come in, it just doesn't happen. But we love our fans, and we know that they're the reason that we're where we're at today, so we wanted to listen, and we took their advice. So um, you'll hear a lot of influences from Unbreakable, from the old style of music, and I really um, I want you guys to listen. There's some like little Easter eggs and stuff. There's On Wings of Integrity Part Two. Um, there's some other stuff in other lyrically and like special effects wise. If you listen closely, you'll hear some old stuff that we did. Uh, and just I don't know as far as lyrically, just a message of hope. There's so much going on in this world right now with our economy, with war, with religion as a whole. And a lot of the songs just offer hope and offer change and I really want people to not just listen to the songs and have fun dancing to them, do all that, but also read the lyrics and uh, see the message that I'm trying to put across.